Welcome to Newsmax Health. I'm Kathleen Walter. Imagine reversing the diagnosis of MS, repairing a failing vital organ, or even restoring eyesight from macular degeneration. With regenerative medicine, it's possible. With us now to talk about a new breakthrough is the CEO of Sale, Mr. Andre Shulika. And Andre, thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you. Well, Andre, you claim that your company uh, can store a backup of one's own adult cells for any possible medical need later in life in very simple terms. Can you explain how this is scientifically possible? Yes, this is a di discovery that occurred like in, the, in 2006, discovered by a Japanese person called Shinya Yamanaka. This professor was awarded the Nobel Prize of Medicine last year. You can take, uh, he discovered that you can take any sample skin, blood cells, any type of cells of your body, and he puts a cocktail inside that is at, at the basis of his discovery, and the cells just loses the memory of what kind of cell it is and come back to the first stage of life. Means the cells, as just post-fertilization, these cells can give any kind of potential cell of the body afterwards. Mm -hmm. And this discovery do totally changed the field of regenerative medicine because they can regenerate any type of tissue of your body coming from blood or skin sample, anything. So what are the implications of this advancement in the medical community? What does this mean for the average patient? For the average patient means that you can, with any kind of your cells, rebuild an altered tissue. You spoke about uh, macular, age-related macular degeneration. For example, you can take these like uh, uh, skin cells reboot them to zero through this technology and then rebuild retina out of them and patch the damaged retina and gain back sight. It's the same for, for example, for heart cells, liver cells, and it's a total paradigm change in the field of regenerative medicine because you're going to be able to regenerate any kind of tissue in the future and heal altered parts of the body. You say that this can help fight disease as personalized genetic-based medicine continues to develop. What diseases can this help fight now? Can you run through a list of them real quickly for us? Well, it's a very new technology. Actually, they're starting macular, like age-related macular degeneration uh, clinical trial, and there are other clinical trials that are ongoing, for example, to heal heart. You know, when you have a heart failure, the heart the muscle just degrades and it never rebuilds up. Therefore, after several heart failures, then you like you have to have a heart transplant, and with th such kind of technology, what is prepared actually is to heal, like to rebuild some heart muscle cell and rebuild the heart uh, muscle in order to prevent heart transplantation with your own cells, uh, and therefore these cells would allow you to rebuild a heart out of uh, your own uh, induced pluripotent stem cells. Mm -hmm. So how soon are folks going to be able to take advantage of this new advancement and is it going to be expensive? Well, to make an IPS cell, if you want to reboot your cells, the real thing that you have to do it as early as possible because the more you wait, the more you will accumulate mutations in your DNA. And these cells are going to be degraded and the more these cells wait in the time, the cells of like when you're very fit at the age of 40, at more fit than when you will be age of 80. Therefore, it's better to reboot immediately your cells and back them up. And then when you keep them like this, the backup and the, the storage, the backup uh, costs $60,000 and the storage costs $500 a year. The two first years are offered. And then if you do it now, for example, you're age 40 or age 50 and you need uh, these cells in 30 years later, as a backup, for example, to rebuild uh, uh, neuron tissues if you have an Alzheimer's disease or uh, like a Parkinson disease, then you will have your cells at age of 40 or 50 instead at the cells of age of 80. Or to rebuild, for example, the retina at the same time. So you're basically turning back the hands of time in some way. Exactly. It's stopping time and rebooting time. And the more you wait after making this backup, the more these cells become a real asset because it's as you stop time and you just store the part of yourself at a special age and after this you can reuse these cells indefinitely to rebuild any kind of part of the body. That's at the basis of this breakthrough, changing totally the paradigm in medicine, which is regenerative medicine, and 
tons of things are ongoing actually in the world. There are a series of clinical trials that are about to start or ongoing in the field of uh, cell therapy that will be able to cure you. Andre, this is real fascinating stuff. Where can folks learn more about this new advancement and also your company? Like the best way is just to log on our website, which is like sceil.com, and then you can find any information or sign up on the website. And then after this, you can just go to a, a dermatologist. He would take a pinch of skin and everything will be taken care of by seal and will reboot your cells, grow these cells and store them for you in three different places, three different continents if an accident happened. And then these cells are a self-deposit of your body inside this library that will be kept just for you. All right, Mr. Andre Shulika of The Sale Company, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax Health.